now back to Inside West Virginia Politics with Mark Curtis. And welcome back to Inside West Virginia Politics. We want to talk about bills, legislation that would legalize or decriminalize the use of marijuana in the Mountain State. Right now I'm joined by Delegate Sean Fluharty. He is a Democrat from Ohio County. He sits on the Judiciary Committee. Good to have you on the show again, my friend. Thanks for having me, Mark. We're going to talk about some other things, too, uh, in a minute. But let's talk about this marijuana legislation or adult use cannabis or however it's referred to. What are these bills aimed at doing here and why? Aimed at changing our entire economy, changing our state, bringing people here, making West Virginia a destination location and on departure state, which it has been for many years. And these bills have been introduced previously and they've been sitting. And as they've been sitting, we've lost nearly 60,000 West Virginians. So I think it's time to have an up and down vote. West Virginians demand it, they deserve it. And this issue is one that is just booming throughout the country. We're talking about over 200,000 jobs, Mark, in this industry. It's the fastest growing industry in the entire country. West Virginia cannot ignore it. And we've been ignoring it. And as you know, in our state's history, we like to be last. And I think it's time we're, we get on the front end on something like this. The critics would say that, look, this is a state that has a serious opioid epidemic. Why would we want to introduce anything else into the mix? We have enough problems. How do you respond to that? Well, we have that epidemic and we have an illegal black market right now. We need to reduce that black market. And the evidence doesn't suggest that, that legalization, that adult use cannabis would, would do anything to increase opioid use. In fact, the evidence shows it decreases opioid use. And that's what we need to do. If you look at Colorado, they had a billion dollar black market. Once they went to adult use cannabis, that black market is gone. It evaporated basically overnight. And that's what we want to do is get rid of the black market because the black market comes with many drugs and not just cannabis. When you reduce the black market, you succeed. And that's what they're seeing in other states. There's 11 states now. The sun's, the sun's still rising and people are, are making money and doing well and they're decreasing opioid use. Let's talk about just some of the practical economic development aspects of it. Do we have the right climate and uh, landscape to do this, to, to grow product here or would it have to be imported from other states? Do we have the transportation routes for distribution? I mean, uh, there's a lot of basic economic things that come into this, whether we're talking about, you know, canned green beans or, or <laughs> cannabis. Well, the, the benefit here is from seed to sale, it would all take place in West Virginia. That's what a lot of people need to realize. The entire economic scale of it would all take place in West Virginia. You can't think of any other market industry where that takes place now. And we would fill our empty warehouses throughout this entire state with workers and hope. And we need to do that now. Now's the time because we know, Mark, in the next few years, the feds may act on this and it may be legal throughout the entire country. Canada just did it recently, 11 states now. So West Virginia cannot sit back and allow the fastest growing industry to take place elsewhere and not in our own backyard. Another thing critics say uh, is that, look, this state passed medicinal cannabis three years ago. The program mm -hmm. is still not off the ground and running. We ought to get that right and fixed and running first before we try any other type of legal product. And what happened there is we had a few people that really decided to sabotage that program. And that's a shame because now we are three years out and people aren't getting the help they need and cancer patients aren't getting the help they need. And we have bureaucrats and too many layers with that issue. Had we gone to adult use cannabis to start out, we wouldn't have bureaucratic layers. And I think we should have done that to start. Roger Hanshaw, the Speaker of the House, was just here before you, and he brought up, we want to switch to another topic, it's a nice smooth transition there. He brought up the High Tech Caucus. You're a Democrat, you and more yeah. Capitol or Republican uh, formed this bipartisan High Tech Caucus. Uh, what's the importance of that? Because a lot of people see that as the real path through our economy, not, not cannabis maybe. Well, there's many layers to our yes. economy that we need to address, and cannabis is one, but uh, making West Virginia a technological hub is something that I agree with Roger Hanshaw on, I agree with more Capitol on, and it's a great bipartisan effort. We had representatives of Apple here recently last week. We have representatives of other high tech companies coming in in the weeks uh, going forward with the legislative session. And it's it's interesting because on the one end, uh, you know, I want to see legislation like cannabis run and you see both sides fighting with each other. But when you can find things to agree on, that's great. And that's something that we want to make West Virginia a place, a great recruiting ground for tech and where our people uh, are going to have an advantage over other states in that area. And we're trying to learn how we can help legislatively. Just quickly in 30 seconds, uh, you're an attorney in private practice, you work in the Northern Panhandle. We just got word that the grand jury has been seated in the 11 suspicious deaths at the Clarksburg mm -hmm. VA. I know you don't have all the details of it, but as a, as a lawyer in a West Virginia, what's your reaction to this? Well, I think it's great news. It shows the investigation is nearing its end, that we're getting evidence. And I think people want to see uh, a resolution here and those accountable be, t uh, be, held, be held accountable and justice have its day. All right, we want to thank Delegate Sean Fluharty, Democrat of Ohio County, a member of the Judiciary Committee, as the 
judiciary. It's <laughs> tough. It's cold in this room today. It's <laughs> tough to talk. Anyway, thanks for being here. We'll have more of Inside West Virginia Politics uh, when we come back, and I learn how to enunciate a little better. <laughs>